Comparing the Spectrum and the Harmonic Series for a Flute, Clarinet, and Oboe. A flute, clarinet, and oboe are almost exactly the same length, but they do not at all sound anything alike. A flute is an open, open cylinder, a clarinet is a closed, open cylinder, and an oboe is a closed, open cone. In part one of this series, I'll take a look at the flute. We'll take a look at the spectrum and the harmonic series that a flute produces as an open, open pipe. All right, so I cannot play the flute well enough uh, to be able to produce quality sounds To be able to make us uh, an important enough recording to be able to show the spectrum that I want to show. So I've asked my daughter to help me. My daughter is a music major, music education major, and she studies the flute, so she can play a little bit better than I. So she's going to play the sounds for this recording. So first, she's just going to play the the low C. So let's take a look at the frequency spectrum for a flute as an open open cylinder. An open open cylinder supports all of the integer multiples of the fundamental. In this case, for the flute, the fundamental and the second harmonic are the strongest, and this, combined with the noise of the airflow passing through the flute, is what gives it its airy quality of sound. Playing the octave, or the second harmonic, also produces a tone that has its own harmonic series. What was originally the second harmonic now becomes the fundamental, but again, because this is an open, open pipe, we get an integer multiple of harmonics. One, two, three, four, five, what used to be two, four, six, eight, and 10. Now let's listen to a one octave scale and take a look at the spectrum. The scale is played by opening up holes in the instrument, which shortens the effective length of the cylinder. Each note on the scale, because the flute with an open hole is still an open open pipe, open open cylinder, each note on the scale has its own harmonic series and all of the integer multiples of the fundamental for each note on the scale show up in their individual harmonic series. Adjusting the embouchure to change the attack angle and the air speed allows one to play the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth harmonics of the open, open pipe. Cool. As was the case for the musical scale, each of the tones in the harmonic series has its own harmonic series with the full set of integer multiples. Because of the aerodynamic noise from the air flowing through the flute, there is some residual harmonics of the original series still present when each of the tones are played. So a flute, which is an open open cylinder, allows all of the integer multiples in the harmonic series to be present and one can actually play the harmonic series by blowing a little bit harder or changing the attack angle in the embouchure. In part two of this series, I take a look at a clarinet, which is a closed open cylinder and only allows the odd integer multiples of the fundamental, the odd integer harmonics to be present. In part three, I take a look at an oboe, which is a closed open cone, and a cone allows all of the integer multiples to return, except they're not equally weighted, and so it sounds quite a bit different than a flute does because of the timbre, the shaping of the integer multiples in the harmonic series.